So you can develop a thyroid nodule. Thyroid nodules are actually very common. And nowadays we have very sensitive ways of, of discovering them. These nodules, a certain small percentage of them can be cancer. So number one is thyroid cancer. The American Cancer Society tells us that about 56,000 people in the United States will be diagnosed with thyroid cancer this year. And here in Springfield, Illinois, we will diagnose dozens of people with this disease. Now, just a few words about risk factors for thyroid cancer. We already mentioned that women are at higher risk and age. Earlier age for women, later age for men. People living in a country where there's a low iodine diet, they have a much higher risk of thyroid cancer. Iodine is put into salt, for example. And so we, we're not at that risk anymore like we used to be. We are at risk, though, to radiation exposure. Uh, the Chernobyl accident, we have a lot of thyroid cancer that developed around that. And we're appreciating more and more the more radiation you ex get exposed to just in uh, routine health care. In addition to these things in the environment, we do recognize there are some hereditary risks to thyroid cancer as well. So anybody with a thyroid nodule who we think may be at risk for thyroid cancer, we have this procedure done where we put a needle into the nodule and we use the ultrasound to guide the needle in. So it's a very accurate needle placement and removal of cells that then the pathologist looks at right away and can tell us whether it's suspicious for having thyroid cancer. So the other reason why we do uh, thyroid surgery is because the gland just gets too big. On the left is a diagram showing uh, the normal thyroid gland and this is how big it can get and it can push on the trachea, it can push on the esophagus, it can go under the breastbone down into the chest and cause a lot of trouble with, with movement of air. So uh, these have to come out simply by uh, its pressure problems. Not necessarily that it's malignant. In fact, most of the time they're not malignant when we see them like this. third reason for taking out the thyroid gland or doing thyroid surgery is, as I've mentioned, Graves' disease. So Graves' disease is interesting. You know, the body's immune system is attacking the thyroid gland. The immune reaction creates the release of substances that then causes deposits uh, in the eye and causes this, the eye uh, ball itself to bulge forward. Uh, the preferred treatment is to take out the thyroid gland because you are then taking out the whole source of that immune reaction. You've obviously taken the only source of thyroid hormone if you take out the whole gland. But thyroid hormone that's made by the thyroid gland is very easy to replace by one tablet a day, you know, Synthroid or some form of thyroxine. The incision is made on the neck as shown right here. And that's typically the incision we would use to gain access to the thyroid gland. And here's an example of a whole thyroid gland that's been taken out. But all this tissue right here, this is all lymph node uh, material that came out around the gland. Sometimes thyroid cancer can spread beyond the central compartment and into the what we call the lateral neck on the outside. And sometimes these lymph nodes have to be taken out for thyroid cancer as well. And here the incision would be more than just that little smile in the middle of the neck. We have to extend the incision all the way over to the here and then up to the earlobe in order to gain access and expose all that tissue uh, to do that so sort of surgery. Thyroid surgery is not without its risks, but if done correctly, those risks are minimal. You, you ask yourself, here are the risks, here's, here are the benefits. 
and clearly the benefits have to outweigh the risks to justify doing this type of surgery. Uh, but I think that's always something that we as, as surgeons uh, weigh carefully before we advise a patient uh, to undergo that.